What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Charles here, back again with a brand new video. Um, I decided that I want to make a meta tier list that we are now going through at the moment. Um, I feel like the meta, like after this, like this post ban list that we're in with like Colossus and uh, Freak Protos, I feel like this meta has changed has changed a lot drastically. And you know, I feel like why not just make a video of it, just like everybody else has. So, without further ado, drop the like comment and always feel free to subscribe so let's get straight to the point to start things off we will we will start with the labyrinth um so with this deck obviously i feel like this deck is really good it has been topping in regionals like a couple regionals like i've been looking through the Yu-Gi-Oh pro decks.com thing uh yeah I've been seeing the deck list of it and people are not being playing chaos angel as much and they just only run one so right now i'm gonna say this is a tier because the deck is really good and none of the cards got hit at all like even big welcome because big welcome is just literally the best trap card in labyrinth of all things and yeah um labyrinth is still a good deck solid like a very solid deck that is still playing um on to the next one Monodium, um, Baron de Fleur got banned, and they really needed that Omni Negate to actually start grinding and start playing the combos. But although, like, they have Bestial Disc Pattern and stuff, I feel like Baron's just a better card in general. So, without Baron, the deck is like, eh. Uh, we just put the C. I really love Monodium a lot. Um, it's just that, uh, like I said, Baron de Fleur is just not a card anymore, and it just got banned, and it sucks to see it. But the deck is still playable. It doesn't mean like it's not a horrible deck. I think the deck is still solid and it ended up didn't winning a couple regionals and stuff. So yeah, on to the next deck. Orcus. Well, according to the ban list, you know, Orcus Hardboard at three is uh is nice to have. It's nice to have, but I feel like Orcus is not really playable. There's nothing else to say about it. And then on to Palio. Palio Zoink. <laughs> the trap variant with the transaction rollback and the, and the elemental burst that that goes crazy um it is hilarious to use i'll say like uh i'll just say this is c tier for that sole reason because you know paleozoic can still play the like the deck can still play well and i think they run kitchen dragon me just to build their traps which is a uh, really cool i think that's really cool to see and you know it's a hilarious deck to play so yeah um dragon link so dragon link is interesting um without their bear and the flurry and savage because you really need those cards well mostly savage obviously so if i was to put this put this deck in probably just b tier for sure b tier um it's not really good but it can still play yeah uh, yeah i really don't know what else to say there so but i mean hey they still got seal and bestials so you still got all those other stuff they could play through um chimera so chimera is a bit interesting um it hasn't based on like the ygo pro decks um it has been topping in regionals a lot and the deck has ended up getting new support like the uh apprentice magician which that card really goes wild and it's really good to able to search your monsters and it's really good so if i was to put this oops okay that was a misclick y'all i'm sorry if i was to put this to a tier in terms of the meta uh probably just gonna put hmm it's a bit interesting y'all i'm sorry i would just put probably eight here i think like yeah i feel like brandon chimera is a bit sleeper in this format um uh, nothing much else to say about it like it's a good deck but you know there's obviously the decks like the decks like snake eyes tenpai voiceless voice like those three decks are basically just making the meta crazy crazy and speaking of snake eyes though obviously it's s tier like hitting link karibo did not make any difference in the barrel in the barone in the savage made no difference um they could literally play any variant at this point got snake eyes melodious snake eyes Kashtira, snake eyes fire king and just pure snake eyes like all these other variants it's just already instant tier one so you can't really see much about it um 
Vanquish Soul. So recently, a deck like Vanquish Soul ended up topping in the Nationals based on the decks, deck profile, and you know, I'm kind of speechless about that. Seeing it, but overall, overall of a deck like Vanquish Soul in this format, it's probably not really good. But hey, if you're really good with the deck, regardless, even if it's not like a crazy good deck like Snake Eyes and everything else, um, Vanquish Soul will be crazy if you're really good with the deck. But yeah, it's still solid best um voiceless voice this deck's interesting uh i did end up facing against a voiceless voice player and i did not understand what the deck does all i know is that they have an omni negate and then you have to keep low on the field and then you have to deal with the barrier the freaking barrier spell that you have to attack their ritual monster their skull guardian or something um yeah i see this one's a bit interesting i don't know where to put this exactly um, if I was to put this, uh, meta deck elsewhere, it's a bit tough. I probably would just put A. Or not B, not B, but A. Because, uh, yes, although the deck is still good, still decent, I don't think it's, like, not as crazy as Snake Eyes or Tenpai, in my opinion. No, yeah. Um, Thunder Dragon. Pure Thunder Dragon. I think there's Horus, Thunder Dragon, Chaos, Bestial, fuck. There's so many variants with this deck ever since Colossus got unbanned. But, you know, if for pure Thunder Dragon, not really good. Um, with other variants, it'd probably be up here, at least in between here. But, hey, Thunder Dragon is still a sleeper. Why not? Um, Phantom Knights. So, Phantom Knights is a bit interesting. Um, it ended up topping in regionals. Like, some people ended up started playing the, uh, what? The Phantom Knights Horrors package with Adventure. And surprisingly, it's still doing good, you know? The deck is still solid. I'll say it's B for sure, 100%. Phantom Knights can still do some combos, but it's just not too crazy as the others in the A and S tier. So, hey, it still goes crazy. Uh, Runic Stun. So, uh, you know, Runic Stun, this deck is cancerous. I feel like a deck like Runic Stun will always just be doing good against any other deck so if i was to put this um definitely probably would just put a tier sure like i feel like all you gotta do like the only thing you really just stop rooting if they just if they just don't have fountain on their field then you could just play the game for sure like yes fountain is that too and seriously they need to like consider banning that card because if they don't have fountain then runic's not playable so that's just my opinion. Centurion, Centurion with their uh, new synchro. Uh, look, it's not Lagadia, which is obviously it's not that card. Uh, it's the other one. It's the other synchro, which goes crazy. Uh, and they also have a, they also have King Calamity, so they can still do crazy, crazy stuff. So this deck is at A for sure. I think it deck's good. Uh, Fire King. Well, with Fire King, obviously Snake Eyes. Like I said, Snake Eyes, Fire King, Diabell Star is still a thing. So this will definitely be S tier for that reason. <sighs> um, Branded Despia. Branded Despia is a bit interesting in this format. I feel like... I mean, actually, speaking of Branded Despia, I, I think it went, to, it went top four against uh, Snake Eyes. So Snake Eyes ended up winning the Nationals. Which it kind of hurts because I like, I like Branded a lot. So this deck is still somewhat playable, not B tier. Uh, yeah, still somewhat playable. So, plus gimmick puppet is still a thing. So yeah, I love that deck overall. Blow in the Rees. Um, yes, Windberry Statue is not a thing in the deck, but they also have Shifter. If you just use Shifter, you basically just go crazy, except Tenpai. So, Blow in the Rees still playable deck. Pearly. So I, to be honest with you, bro. I kind of missed out like a lot of the metas back in post dune and you know i did not understand what pearly and rescuees does to this day and the deck with the uh, delicious memory at two really made the deck good so definitely a tier 100 percent uh melodious melodious there's which i which i told y'all uh obviously snake eyes melodious is a thing melodious as a whole but the new support that they got the deck is just crazy Crazy, crazy. A tier at best. 
my opinion. Not not S tier, definitely A tier. Uh, Salomon Great. I think people should really underestimate what Salomon Great does. Uh, yes, they, their combos is crazy. You don't really do negates or anything. Like it's just full of pops. Like just literally, literally just destroy your board. Like I don't know what else to say. So Salomon Great is somewhat good. Somewhat, somewhat good. Uh, Cash Tira. Hmm. Cash Tira is a bit interesting as well. Uh, if I was to put Cash Tira in this format. Uh, obviously only the Snake Eyes variant is really good. Um, definitely I would say if you were to play Heat Soul Cash Tira, definitely just B. Definitely B tier. And obviously they play Shifter, so it just stops other decks in general. And you do got engine with Fen like Fenrir Unicorn in hand, you basically just win. Okay, so Rescue Ace. Um Snake Eyes is Snake Eyes Die Bell Star just kinda like kills uh Rescue Ace because no one doesn't really play anymore, so you kinda lost the relevancy in the format. So definitely D tier. Um U Bell. So U Bell with Unchained variant is probably like really good. It's hilariously good with the freaking continuous spell, and I really hate that card a lot. I don't, I don't even know what's called. So, you bell at A. Really can't see much about it. Uh, Sky Striker, kind of trash. Definitely trash. Put C. Uh, Sprite, not really playable too. Yeah, although, like, we don't got Sprite Elf in the format, we still got Sprite. Well, well the rest of the Sprite cards are on three except Elf. So. Yeah, C tier. Unchain. Unchain sexy. Pure Unchain. The deck is surprisingly good. Um, in terms of variance with you, Bell. Bell Unchain. Really good deck overall. People have been playing that one instead. So in terms of pure unchain, not really good. Uh tier limits. Also not a good deck. Not a good deck because you just basically just gamble. Just like what you seen said, you just gamble the deck and pray that you can fusion summon and stuff. So it is what it is, right? So yeah, uh, Tenpai Dragon, Tenpai Dragon, obviously S tier. This deck is literally changing the game a lot for sure. Uh, those I feel like S Snake Eyes and Tenpai are definitely the two best decks in this format. It's like Tenpai basically has everything you need. Twenty one freaking hand traps, bro. Twenty one hand traps. H starters, like, what more can you ask for in that? Like, freaking Tenpai, there's one card starter. They gotta do something about this deck. I hope so, because if they keep this deck, which obviously they will, then, yeah, all hell is broke. All hell is loose. So, yeah, Tenpai is S tier, obviously. And the last deck, Sword Soul. Um, Sword Soul recently just topped in Nationals. Won top 16. So, kudos to him. Or her, shoot, I don't I don't even know the name, but hey, yo, Sword Soul, I love this deck so much. It went to Worlds last year along with Dragling, two of my one of my two of my favorite decks. And I would say this is B to me. B tier. Like it's still the same deck. Sword Soul is still good. Uh nothing more to it. And um yeah guys, this is the tier list. Sorry for my breath, my breath control because I was I, I wanna try like making this video a bit faster. But it turned out it turns out it's only 14 minutes, so it's it's a little bit long. So um yeah guys um this is a tier list video. What do you guys think? Should I make any changes or not? But um if you guys think what tier list this would be, what decks would be in the best deck type thing, or uh what be what be S tier. And um yeah guys, this is Charles here, and I'm out of here. So peace out. Girl, I can't take it, these temptations Keep my heart racing, make love faces I'm not good with changing